Okay, here we go. Let's try some asteroids. With some eruptions. You're looking for your small cards to be played early in the game. Look at that. That was a good draw. Now I'm playing him for the snake oil. That snake oil is a spell and it can activate your other cards to put more asteroids into the deck. That's why I'm not playing the Murlocs like many people are on the internet. I'm playing this guy. Two of them. And if you have some small spells in your hand and you don't need the snake oil to activate a spell, a card, trade it in. Simply trade it in. Wow, what a night last night was at 3 o'clock in the morning. Wow. Hey, everybody. Could I please ask you a favor? If you don't mind, scroll down below, click our subscribe button, because we could really use your help. Thank you very much. At about 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm up. I'm being tormented in bed. Thank God my wife was sleeping good. She fell asleep first. I'm in bed being tormented for like an hour and a half. There were some loud noises in the bedroom. A, a demon was hitting the wall up by the ceiling to the left of our bed. I stand in wonder. All right. Just use so the snake oil in my hand now, that is the spell. Um, they're all good. We're against a druid. And that right there is the four mana card that has to be activated with a spell. And this is why I don't recommend going, mer going the one mana murloc that some people are using. So Tristan falls asleep. I'm up. I'm, I'm hoping to fall asleep. I'm being tormented. There is a demon making clicking noises to the left of our bed. That's the immediate left. There was potentially another demon or the same demon making some little noises to the right side of our bed where I sleep. Now we have a demon making some loud noises, not too many, just one or two of them, up in the ceiling towards the left wall. Let me think. We can activate him right now. I'll show you. You know what? Card draw? Clear the board and card draw, maybe? So what did I do? Step number one. <coughs> practice to not be afraid. The key word there is practice. And just like how when you practice guitar or piano, you're going to make a lot of mistakes. You and I are also going to make a lot of mistakes as we practice Kingdom of God regimens. I use the word regimen because we're in a military. He's moving so slow. I'm talking about my opponent. 
You can go face if you want. You can clear. I've been clearing a lot. And the reason why is I'm stalling. I'm trying to stall to get to some of my OTK cards. Hmm. Now, I'm hesitant to play Incendius there because um, one of the best cards in your deck to Shutterwalk is Incendius. And I don't have Shutterwalk in my hand, so I'm trying to hold on. Yeah, we're just going to keep drawing cards until he can clear. By the way, in this type of a deck, <laughs> you want to draw as much as you can. The more cards you draw, the better your Malagos and your Ethereal, that three mana card in the middle of my hand right there, can OTK. I'll try to show you what I mean with the Ethereal maybe. So step number one, we got to work on getting rid of the fear. I, after all of these years, I still can get afraid. <laughs> and you might be thinking, well, Garrett, how is that possible? How is it possible you still get afraid sometimes? Because of God. God is ordering it. Ooh, what? Okay, we need to kill that right now. So we have to kill that. We don't have a choice. God decides when we get afraid. God decides when we don't. God decides when we're walking in boldness and fiery, fiery determination. But all, God also decides when there are demons in your room, when you go to bed, how you're going to react. He's testing us. He's monitoring us. He's holding our lives in the palm of his hand. You know, he never, I'm still drawing cards. He never killed them. You need massive card draw. If you're going to go asteroids, massive card draw. Don't worry about all those fancy cards that other people are using, like the Sasquatch. It's too slow. Like the Turbulus, it's too slow. Time waits for no one. I haven't taken Turbulus out yet, but I'm taking him out of this deck uh, real soon. Because he's just way too slow. I'm holding Incendius because I'm waiting for Shutterwalk. You can play Incendius, you'll get five eruptions. But if you shudder walk him, you'll get 15 eruptions upgraded three times. So I would say Insidious is the number one card you want to shudder walk. Number two, you got three or four great choices. If you're going Zilliax, that's a good shudder walk. If you're losing, if you're in a tough game, if you need healing. Hagatha, way too slow. I, I personally would take Hagatha out of this deck. And I'm going to be praying about that. Right now, some games, Hagatha does okay. But she has reverse synergy with herself. She has reverse synergy. So, um, but Hagatha, I'm going to worry about later. Turbulus is the main guy to replace right now. All right, how do we want to get rid of this?
Let's. We talked about step number one, getting rid of the fear. Time waits for no one. What would step number two be? Seek out Jesus immediately on what he wants you to practice, what he wants you to do. <clears throat> I know we blew up our own cards. It seemed like the only way to really clear his taunts. Uh, no shutter walk. You can incendious now. Hagatha is just about dead. We have only one spell, I think. Do we have two? Oh, oh, my deck tracker isn't working right. Okay, Th there were two. Now, what do I mean by reverse synergy with Hagatha? <laughs> when you play the six drop, you practically kill your own slime. It's reverse synergy. But we'll worry about Hagatha in about one week, one week from now. Seek out Jesus, ask him what to do. Now guess what was happening? A demon was touching my body. He was really aggravating me. And your first thought is it's an insect, but he's touching you all over your body in different places. And many times I wrap myself up in the sheet and he can still touch your body under the sheet like he did last night at exactly 3 a.m. in the morning. Okay, we burned one asteroid. We need to dump a little bit of the hand, right? Let's draw some asteroids now. And that might be game. That right there is an ethereal OTK. That is a very viable option if you drew most of your cards. I say it again. An ethereal OTK to kill the enemy. Praise God, that was fun. And yes, we are under tremendous spiritual warfare. <laughs> 